Thanks for your interest in Project Squirrel. Project Squirrel is a citizen science project designed for everybody, whether or not you have squirrels in your neighborhood. There are some places that have three species of squirrel, the fox, gray, and red squirrel, all in one neighborhood, and other places where across the street you might only have one species, and other places still where this year there might not be any squirrels, but in subsequent years there might be. By having you track the squirrels in your neighborhood, both the number of squirrels and the species diversity, we can understand what factors are influencing squirrels. And by understanding squirrels, we can understand more about nature as a whole, because squirrels use trees and nuts and many other resources that are used by a wide variety of species. Now, it's important to know your squirrels. The largest common tree squirrel in the United States is the fox squirrel. He's got a rusty belly, usually, with a black outlined tail. There are populations of fox squirrel in the south and east that look a little bit different than that. The most common squirrel in the United States is the eastern gray squirrel. It has a white belly and a tail that looks like it's a little bit frosted and white. Now there's one other fun species of squirrel that mammologists call the red squirrel, Tamisiris hudsonicus. It's very different than the fox squirrel, which is also sometimes called the red squirrel. You can see that the red squirrel has more of a chestnut coloration. During the summer it has a little black racing stripe and a very clean white belly, and it's overall much smaller. By reporting the squirrels in your neighborhood to Project Squirrel, you will help us understand the ecology of the entire United States and maybe even the world beyond. We'd especially like to welcome the participants from the Girl Scouts of America and hope that you have a fun time contributing your squirrel observations to projectsquirrel.org at scistarter.com. Thanks a lot.